Okay, so first bonus of the trip, and it is Buffalo Gold. What a surprise, it took a hundred to get there, but let's see how we do. We'll go white screen if we need to at some point. Okay, okay, three triggers are good. Come on. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Come on, get those heads, man. Come on. Okay, cool. Let's keep it building up. Okay, I've got the eagle change. You guys have change? Okay, cool. Two for eagles. Need to hit something. That curio change. There's just one more gold head. Uh, RV checker, please. Nope. Uh, first one's gonna be disappointing, but it looks a bit. Yep. Last spin. Yeah, that's a, the first game done. Okay, we need to burn 960 tonight. So it's been a really rough start to the trip so far. We're on Dancing Drums Prosperity and we have a bonus. The only second of the trip so far we're already down about 400 <laughs> mystery pickers. Why not? Okay, give us more than three. Yeah, no, more than five games, please. Awesome. We're big 200. 
that would be amazing on this minimum bag. Right, come on, you have 14 games, 10 games to go here. Oh, we're dragons again. Damn it, we're just missing wheel four, and that would have been a lot. Wheel four would have been a lot. Ah, oh, come on. We got our retrigger in there, a really big one. Those dragons are coming down a lot, they really are. And how have we not filled the bar up though? At any point. Oh, there we go. 128 bucks now. Brilliant. Well, this has turned the night around, thank God. And over 400. 400 and what? 28? Roughly. And this is probably the right back from the brink. I see the brink, I went back up to the hotel and went into the safe and went to get another 500 dollars for tonight because the hellish start for the holiday would have deserved that. I will take this so this is great. Close that port please. Oh, another wee additional three spins, happy days. Come on. Close those pots man. It was a wee shot of the jackpot as well. Last spin, can we break 300? We did 305 and 60 cents out of an 88 cent bet. That is a terrific win. Take us off in night one and get us back. I'll get another one. And the drink service is already amazing in Cromwell, so I can't complain. We saw another one, there's one for Red Bulls tonight. And I'll just hit, boom! Fantastic bonus there on Dancing Drums Prosperity. So, we are playing Jackpot Catcher, which is Moon Premium. I've just triggered the three games, I've got no idea, we're playing the Premium 125 minimum bet. 10 free games awarded, let's see what happens. No idea, I've never played this, so... So I can't tell you what we're looking for, anything. Okay, obviously it's a match 6 game by the looks of it. Maybe? Um, what? I assume... Jackpot catcher spin? What the fuck? Okay, confused. Lots of things happening on the screen. Alright, so I think anything you land in those like golden circles are the things you win. But because I didn't have any golden circles, I don't win any of the cash values that are on there at the moment. Apart from if one lands in the bottom right corner right now. I get a dollar. Don't I? I get a dollar, yeah. Okay. Cool. Right, so now we just keep playing. Right, so there's a dollar, there's 25 cents. Okay. I get it now, I get it now. We need one of those jackpot catcher things again. What happened? Oh, hello. Oh, okay, I see how this works. Quite cool. That's a 2x one now, okay. That's a ten dollars. Last game though, unfortunately. Okay. Right, you may see this throughout the trip. I'll give this more of a go. It seems pretty interesting, especially if you unlock a lot of those uh, golden circles early doors, it could be good. We'll keep trying, if there's anything good, I'll come back to it. Yeah, let's see how we do. Back in. Last one's crap. Come on. Come on, here we go. Rules one and two, please. There you go, there's two. We still keep one there. Come on. Oh, 
Like old revolution, let's see how we do. Minimum back. Get some of those gold heads. Don't give us a free game to start with, $2 to start with. Go again. And give us some gold heads to start with, please. $2 again. Come on. Ah, nightmare. Three games. Get out, let's see how we go on. Nice and light. Actually managed to hit her. I'm kind of shocked. I don't think I can zoom out anymore. So we'll see how well this goes. I had a quarter wise. We've got four eggs here, so we really need to get some hits. We are laughing if we get some. We triggers would be ideal. No way. I'm only 75 cents as well. It's the first time I've ever hit four eggs. I need to hit something though. Come on! Hey, come on! A three X, please. Two and two, ten to four. Carry nine bucks, please. Just a couple more of them would be ideal. It's only fourteen games. Well, nineteen games to over again. Oh, come on! I would have four eggs when there's no games. Even just a low symbol all the way, please. Oh, those nines would have been alright if we got them all the way. Re trigger. Ah! Three games to go. That's it. Another one? Take another one. Another five games, please. Come on! Wings? Now I spin, we had something good, we can. Ah, uh, 54 bucks. Bit of a dragon link. 
to close the other night. Some Genghis Khan, that minor. I don't know one sent it on, but it's a 150 bet, so it could be some good balls in here. 150s, come on, big balls. There's a mini. Another minor, happy days, another 50. I did see a 75 dollars like pop by early on. Come on. Nice, we'll take that. It's a decent one now. Twenty six fifty on a one fifty bear. Happy days! We'll keep going, we'll see if we get anything else. We kept playing for a bit longer, we've got another golden spin bonus on Genghis Khan and the Dragon Link. Not massive values in a mini there, but it's fine. Let's see if we can get anything else. Come on. Last spin. And it's up like a capper with seven at the start. Just shy of 30. Now keep us going. We'll keep trying. We'll see if we can get anything else in this game. Probably not. So I had recorded a video um, as I came into the room, <laughs> but I was a bit too pissed off with the luggage situation. And I think this looks like an epic view as you're walking down the corridor to your room. Uh, Cromwell. So let's just check in to room 619. It's not in the best of states I've already been in. Um, I'll let you guys have a quick look at it. Whoa. Excuse the mess, on the bed. So the room looks fantastic. Love the theming. Um, the purple and kind of lighter purple, dark purple looks really, really nice. The contrast, amazing headboard <laughs> on the bed. It looks really bloody grand. To be fair, there's my Cromwell bag with my merch that I had to buy today. So I had something to wear because my luggage was gone. Some nice art there. Lovely, nice wee seating area. And the start of plenty of storage. Now, one of the things I did realise is they don't have USB ports next to the lamps, etc., which a lot of the new properties do, or the renovated properties do. But what I did realise is there is a singular USB port hidden behind here on the console for the TV. So that at least can charge, which is nice. So, big TV and plenty of storage, actually, to be fair. This one comes down, it doesn't look great, but the rest of them, they've already got segments there for you to separate everything. Safe's down the bottom. Then in here, there is no safe. There, sorry, there is no um, fridge, but there is a mini bar. Fun times, eh? Nice chair and full length mirror. And as I've been deemed by Kelly from the Cromwell, the waitress tonight, I'm Mr. Cromwell apparently because I've got the Cromwell t shirt on. So there we go. I brought that upon myself by bringing it up. So there we go. But yeah, the room looks really, really nice, to be fair. I mean, you can see it's a bit worn, but like it still looks really good. Wardrobe is massive and, you know, again, has plenty of storage, like loads of shelving, loads of drawers as well, which is really nice, actually. That's really good to have, like, a lot of storage, especially if you're coming for an extended stay in Vegas. Like, I'm here for 11 nights. So this stuff is pretty brilliant for me. I'm pretty happy with this. The vanity mirror, I think, is a nice touch as well. Whoa. Nice and bright, but I like it. I do like it. It looks really good. And if we go over here, and have a look out the window, this is what they consider the strip view. Let me just deal with this. The drapes. I can't say open the drapes, Alexa, like Mark can in the, um, and, um, <laughs> the wind, but there you go. So this is my strip view. It's the big rectangle section or square section that's blocked out, but you can see some stuff which is pretty cool, like to be fair, at least you can see the Mirage, Caesar's Palace sign, you can see some of the awesome lights from the Flamingo, which never are boring, let's be honest. 
So it's, it's okay, I mean it's fine, but you know what Dre's location is like, it's not the best. The bathroom is fantastic to be fair, I'll zoom out a bit for this. I think the bathroom is fantastic, the shower looks tremendous, it's even got a shelf or a ledge to um, relax uh, or partake in some other activities, shall we say. And then of course the bathroom is in a wee room itself, the toilet is in a wee room itself which is nice and you've got some lovely art to look at, plus a window! Plus a window to look at a wall, which is great. And that's, is that open? Yeah, it's open at the moment as well. So um, yeah, we'll just shut that just now. We'll just shut that, but that was open. There you go. Um, yeah, so that's the room. That is the room. It looks great, doesn't it? It really does. So yeah, it's the end of the night, guys. Um, I'm just chilling out in my big purple chair. I'm um, just thinking about how pissed off I still am about my case not arriving and being left behind in London. That was really a bit of a pain in the arse, I'm not going to lie. To get that like email and text message just after you land and get through customs is a pain. But also the fact that we were waiting in Stephen's case and it took like an hour as well. That wasn't great, not a great experience. But to be fair, the Cromwell, I'm really impressed with the room. I actually think it's really good. I mean, it's been there for a while now. I don't think they've done this up for a hell of a long time. So the rooms still look pretty damn good. One disappointment is the lack of USB charging, there's literally one port, um, so make sure you bring an outlet plug um, or adapter, which I do have, but they're in my luggage, not my hand luggage, so issue. Um, I really enjoyed tonight, um, I'm only down $60 um, from my count, from the 500 that I took out, considering I was down 400 very, very early on, until I actually got that really good bonus on um, Dancing Drums. Then we hit up Flamingo um, for a bit, hit up the link for a bit, then back to uh, the Cromwell where Kelly, the the waitress who was on tonight, was absolutely fantastic with me. She delivered the drinks so quickly, she had good banter, she called me Mr. Cromwell because of the t-shirt, the uh, Cromwell t-shirt that I had to wear basically because that's what I'm left with now at this point is I had to buy some stuff while I was in the casino. Um, that was a good laugh, had some good chat with her. She was fantastic all night and that's the one thing I'll always recommend about the Cromwell for gambling. It's a small casino but the waitresses are fantastic. If you look after them, they'll look after you. It goes, it's as simple as that. Don't short them on the tips. Like if you tip rather well here or you tip to a decent degree, you're going to get fantastic service. I mean I think you do anyway regardless of what you tip but the girls that work here deserve all the credit in the world. They are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I'm, I've had plenty of drinks, it's been a long first day, I mean, it's about 2am now, um, coming on 2am in the US, which is, what, 10am in the UK, and I've been up since 5am the day before, so, yeah, we're well over the 24 hours at this point, um, so, I, yeah, I need some sleep. It's going to be typical, going to get a couple of hours, and that's about it. Tomorrow's an hour day, tomorrow's a full day, hopefully I will get my case um, at the end of the day, but... Alas, I've got some money to spend. I've still got about $100 to spend and I can claim back. So I'm going to hit up some shops in Medical Mile tomorrow morning about 10 o'clock and then you know, pick up some essentials like shorts, for example. I need something uh, to wear and then hopefully my case will be delivered to the Cromwell at some point in the evening of Tuesday. But anyways, thanks everyone who tuned in, who subscribed, who's liked, who's commented, who's just viewed. Appreciate it all. Um, and I will be back for part two when that lands. Good night.